For seven. people who don't know what the fuck we're talking about, the Fibonacci sequence is a very unique mathematical sequence that appears in nature. It's uh, it's in fractals. It's in sunflowers. If you look at like the pattern of sunflower seeds, if you look at nautilus shells, and what it is, it's uh, an expanding fractal sort of a mathematical equation. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but it's like the first step is zero, and then there's one, and then there's one, 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 two, one, three, one five, two, eight. two plus, yeah, and right. it just keeps going on. We live our everyday lives and don't usually notice how every aspect of it is built upon mathematical equations and patterns. Mathematically correct distances, buildings height and arrangements, hurricane swirl, as well as sunflower seeds, as well as Wall Street moves assumptions are all obeying the same rule, or better yet, the same sequence. I read something where about why people recognize plastic surgery while it disturbs them. Boom. Yeah, it's like, what's going on with the sequence? Like, the sequence is off. So my friend... Uh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, my friend... The Fibonacci relationships of the human head. And it, it's the nose thing, too, is weird. Like, when someone has a uniquely small nose and mm -hmm. their face... You know, they might have like a long, like, Ari Shafir-type face, but then they have this, like, shrunken-down nose. You're like, hey. Yeah. Like, this seems fucked. Right. This doesn't... There's a ratio that's supposed to exist, and yeah. it doesn't exist. We don't notice, but... We're living in the golden ratio and surrounding ourselves with it because unexplainably it makes sense. It satisfies in the human need for order and make our surroundings harmonious, pleasing to the eye. You'll say, yeah, it's easy to align things in a mystical pattern because if you look for it, but isn't it ironical how all of these patterns are right in front of our eyes? And we don't even have to look for it. It's literally everywhere. So the Fibonacci sequence, which is now we find in almost all life, is actually part of fractals. So we're living in a fractal-based universe. Everything is a fractal of, of something else, something bigger, something grander. But also, it's also a fingerprint. So the fingerprint of God is the Fibonacci sequence. It's the evidence that we're living in a creation that we also are created. Architecture, art and design, music, computer science, math. So from cosmic galaxies to the chocolate swirl in your ice cream, everything is formed in the same design. And it appears like a blueprint of a code which is used by the same designer. But what is that? Why is it happening? Well, no one has a definitive answer. But when we realize that certain mathematical traits are common as for micro, so is for macro world around us, meaning that all events are happening in accordance to the same physics rules. It becomes fascinating how most of us stay ignorant to the fact that we're all connected and swim in the same pool. We react to the waves we create in it and keep on looking for the divine explanation when it's right in front of our eyes.